Okay, so out of the blue, I got a message asking about the appearance of one of my javelins and what it was made up of, but I couldn't remember the name, the different names of all the different um, parts you have for your javelin. So I had to log in to have a look to answer the query, and while I was there, I thought I may as well have a game. So we'll check out some gameplay. Uh, this build here, it's old, you can see. I only have three level 80 components because I stopped playing the game basically a year ago, I believe I had one game around six or seven months ago, sort of when they changed from the 70 to the 80 cap. So I'm very rusty, I don't even really know all the configurations or the how to use all the components to get all the combinations and all that sort of stuff. But I'll have a dig anyway and see if the game has changed and if it's still enjoyable and if anything's uh, different in the way the build works and I'll get back after the video and give you my summary okay so we'll have a go Grandmaster 3 Tyrant Mine why not uh, I think uh, they're all strongholds are pretty much the same but since I haven't played for so long I think this one's probably the easiest to navigate besides Heart of Rage but that's a bit bland to actually watch just full of rocks and bloody lava so with my co uh, combos of my gear I usually run a combo sig gear sig and ultimate sig and you can check out if you are interested and you think the gameplay is okay you can check out my ranger build now I'll remind you that this is a 219 or late early 219 maybe late 218 ranger configuration and we'll have a go in the year of 2020 September and see if hey, an outdated ranger can still handle the game as it is. I don't know if they've made, they've made any significant changes to the game or not because I just haven't been playing it but uh, we'll have a go and see what's the same or what is different. Okay so uh, seems like it's just me for now which will be a bit of a challenge on G3. Especially when you haven't played the game for a long time and you can't remember how to use all your uh, combinations, gear and components and don't even know your button layout. But I'll give it my best shot and hopefully someone will join and give me a bit of a carry through. I know I had a melee build, which required a lot of melee, but I can't remember why. So I got the combined arms. Get more favour going. Ah, <laughs> whoops, wrong button, see? So that happens. You get what button does what. Way. Remember some tricks of the trade. So I won't record everything, I'll just uh, record the more intense moments. I'm going all right. I uh, haven't died yet, and it seems another guy's um, joined in the battle, which is a blessing. Uh, actually, surprising the uh, javelin's holding up pretty well. Like, uh, it hasn't been really been a struggle going solo. It's G3, it's always better if you can have someone else playing. Without a doubt. Persevere along a little bit more. 
Okay, so now we should get into some heavy combat. Come on, punks! What do you got, punks? So this is a melee build, so you really want to get in tight. Try to get as many combos as you can. And I'd imagine for people who still play, unless they're like me and just came back for a bit of uh, reminiscent, reminiscing, That'd be pretty seasoned players with good builds. Like, my build's not good, it's outdated. And my components and that are outdated. So I'm probably a bit of a burden to the team, if anything. Big bastards. Oh, you big bastard. Good job, buddy. Let's pick up our little rewards. No legendaries, which is a bit of a bummer. Okay, hey, we've got another javelin. Hey, nearly the same name as Jadenton. He's trying to copy me. Jay Koala. Rightio, so uh, keep cruising along. It's definitely coming back to me, the button configuration, though I'm still not really playing to what I feel could be hey, 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 the maximum capacity I could play. My gun's bigger than yours, buddy. Uh oh. Uh oh. You don't want any little mishaps. Uh oh, newbie, newbie alert. How do I survive that? Leave my friends alone. Oh, I forgot to be at this thing here. Woo. Don't know what it does. But it must do something. I think for this map here, this is like one of the, the better parts of the map. Like this bit here, it gets intense, it's good. I'd like to have that intense sort of firepower. Oh, buddy, man down, man down! I got you, buddy. Leave my friend alone! Oh, yeah, so it's heating up now, getting a bit more intense. Gotta get rid of these bloody cannons! Get rid of this one here. Back off, punk. Get out of my face. That's how we roll here. Oh, no. Look out. Man down. Man down. Man down. Here we go. Come on. Sorry, man. I haven't played for like a year. Cut me some slack. I'll save your life later. This is the bit we're waiting for. This is where the chaos starts. Get that boss dude down there. Here he is. Ooh, die, punk! Hang of it. Even though I did die, 
quite a newbie death. Too easy. So we have a full team now, so it should just breeze through. I got it. So it was a quite a lovely game, like graphics-wise. Especially if you had a, a pretty good computer to run it at um, some pretty good settings. Hey, look at that legendary! Woo. Um, it's quite enjoyable to play it after not playing for such a long time. Something fresh, something new. Get away from the normal first-person sort of shooter, cheating, frustrating games. So we'll just cruise along, get under the waterfall, cool down a bit, <sighs> fly a bit longer, head into the dark depths. God, come on, my grandma could do better than that. I am ready for a swim. Follow the light, man. Follow the light. Too many eggs. Way too many eggs. I don't feel I'd be having much of a score, though. Bit of a sad thing. Hello, it's team. Unsafe. Come on, hurry up, please. You're holding me up. I guess some intense play going on. Uh, here man, have a shield, whatever that does. Let me get into the fight. Woo! Yeah, take that, you punks! Oh, a little legendary over there. I come and help you, buddy. Oh, you're not my buddy, you're the enemy. It's confusing now, especially after a few beers and a few sambukas. Hang on, we got it. We remember. Just back off, back off, back off, back off. Feel the wrath burn, you punks. So, um, yeah, pretty surprising that the 219 Ranger build still is applicable late 2020. Okay. Team. Sorry, I uh, forgot what I was doing. Coming back, help you. Sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, take my forgiveness. Woo! Kill! Oh, sorry, stick to the platform, stick to the program. I will say this though, considering I haven't played the game for such a long time, it's really no challenge at all. Really that's why I stopped playing the game, because basically uh, the javelin I was running was already indestructible. And I feel most players would be in the same boat. 
and I'm not sure if they've added any new sort of uh, gameplay or components to like the free play or anything like that. I didn't even check if there were any new strongholds actually. This is just uh, just coming back just to see what's been happening really. But I do feel this is definitely one of the, the better strongholds just for the variety of enemies and the variety of um, terrain. Like you got caves, a bit of a jungle. So we'll then enter the big cavern up here with the spider. Some uh, little water sort of obstacle. I know it's not the best if you wanted just to farm for legendaries or something. You'd usually uh, think harder rage used to be the best. I'm not sure if it still is or not. And this is the easiest way to get to where we're going. Okay, sorry people. Let's go check out Big Mama. Uh, so I know in the past you'd sort of swap weapons by now. You'd put like a sniper gun on or maybe some of the, the newer sort of weapons. But will not worry about that. We'll just have a bit of fun. Make it as hard as we can. Oh buddy, what are you doing down there? I'm coming to get you. Oh, you get him, man. I'll give you a covering fire. Covering fire, covering fire. This is no mess for us. Oh, buddy, hey, I'm coming to get ya. Woo! Gotta run out of bullets, that's a problem. I need to kill. He's not running, you need to. Hey, get out of it, punk! I need to kill someone to get some bullets. Aha, here we go! If I remember correctly, you got to watch out for that big spider. He's going to come rushing out of the cave. Try to kill everyone. There he is. Hey, look out. Hey, dude. Take this. Trying to run away, you coward! Don't you run away, you coward! Shoot you in the ass, big bastard! And that's about it for this fella. And sorry. GG. I didn't even use my other gun. <laughs> that was a bit silly, wasn't it? So that's it. So um, yeah, quite enjoyable. Much more enjoyable if you got a full team, because at the beginning it was a bit of a struggle by myself. Oh, it just takes so long if you do it by yourself. So we'll have a look at the score. I wouldn't imagine it'd be very good, but we'll see what happens and uh, sign out. Okay, so a couple of executioners. Sort of score we got. Ah, oh, quite lame. Very lame. I didn't even really get many combos. You had a look at it. But that's to be expected if you uh, haven't played the game for such a long time. And, uh, yeah, so that's it. I'll leave my summary um, at the end. But, uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. So I recommend that if you do play the game, just come back every now and then and reminisce. And uh, hopefully... Anthem 2.0 will kick ass. Okay, so all in all, I couldn't really notice anything too different. 
but um, I only played that stronghold, so maybe there's something different in the even in this area here or the map or the free play. I don't know. Uh, the javelin held up well, even though I was very rusty and didn't really know what I was doing, running around like a chicken with no head. Uh, it was enjoyable, I must say that, after not playing for so long. And um, yeah, I think if the Anthem 2.0 is anything like the original game, we have something really positive to look forward to in the uh, future, next year, when they release the game. Actually, I thought this game was quite quite good when they released it. I got a lot of negative uh, media, I know, but uh, I thought it was a fresh game, what was currently available at that time, genre-wise, and um, it ran pretty smooth. It didn't really have too many bugs, so there you go. So if you're interested in this build, you can watch one of my earlier videos, and it explains actually how all the components work, and if not, you watch through to the end. Thanks a lot, and uh, take care.